All right, we are back, my friends, for the second round here with Just Guy Tempo. Just came back from a quick lunch break, so let's hope we're all energized and ready to go. We won the die roll, and yeah, let's go ahead and play first. Oof. Man, one fetch land this hand would be great. Unfortunately, as it stands, I think we're going to have to mulligan that. Wow, I didn't think a hand could be worse. <laughs> I stand constantly corrected. Wow. I think this is a multi forehand. <sighs> what is life? What is life, my friends? Well, that's a planes. It's a land. Follow it up with a mountain, and we might not be dead. Arbor Elf. Ponza? Let's go ahead and just get some more info on what our opponent might be playing here. All right, Bloodman. Looks like we up our we are up against Ponza. If we find one land. I don't think we're in it, but yeah, especially now that they hit another hit another land drop. So our second hand might have been okay with all of our lightning bolts and such. But as it stands. Okay, I mean, at this point I don't think we can fight their mana development. We're probably just going to go ahead and uh, Lightning Helix the Bloodbraid Elf. It's possible I should have just conceded to to save info. The thing is, if we draw like an island, we could literally just like electrolyze all of their mana producers and set them back quite a bit. So, if another blood moon here doesn't do anything, obviously that doesn't do anything either. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them off of red mana now, though. Now they just have a bunch of green creatures. <sighs> Come on, what do you what do you have? <laughs> Let's track. Alright. Well, say go. Well, at least it's a forest and not a not anything else. Island would actually be really good here. We could go snap vault. Path to exile. <sighs> the thing is then I'm giving them a mountain and then probably want to do it on the draw step. Deny them the, the mountain to use this turn. But we're fighting. Fighting. You can't just give up. Well, we drew them out in anyways. They definitely are sitting on some molten rains, like no doubt. I have no doubt in my mind. So the lightning bolt is not particularly worth it on the Arbor Elf. <laughs> I think I'd rather save it for like a Bloodbraid Elf off the top here. If they swing with both pre-combat, or uh, if they don't play anything and then just swing with both, then I'll probably... Chandra. Alright, I get to see more of your deck a little bit. That's fine. Put me down to three. or Yeah, they'll put me down to three. I'll bolt one of these critters here. And we're done. It's 
to sideboarding, I guess. Gate. Clicks. Entering explosives. Wear tear. Is it static caster? Maybe Lyra, maybe Elspeth, definitely Celestial Purge. What do we want to cut is the question. Probably want to cut some number of paths. Some number of Lightning Helixes. They're not the best. And Electrolyze is just... Well, Electrolyze can hit those, those dorks pretty well. So definitely want the clicks. Definitely want the purges. I feel like I want everything here. That's the thing. Maybe not Staticaster. Maybe the third Electrolyze is better than Staticaster. Maybe EE is not necessary. Christian is here. What do we cut? We definitely want our turn turn one interaction. We could cut like a Helix. One Geist. But Geist is such a fast clock through a Blood Moon. Probably want to cut one of those. Yeah, we don't want to have too much spot removal. Helix is not great. Not great in this matchup. I mean, burn is fine, but... Doesn't do anything special. I think a deck that plays at sorcery speed is going to be quite easy to tempo out. And here we even have basics. We have plenty of lands. So here we can fetch up a Steam Vents to kill a Dork, or we can just get Utopia Sprawled. Here I'm not going to crack it, so I can uh, hold off a Molten Rain for as long as I need to. Sure. I guess that does stop Logic Knot a little bit, but... I don't think it's worth countering. Let's go ahead and exile the Scalding Tarm due to the Relic of Progenitus. Spell Queller is a great draw. I think I'll go ahead and play out the planes such that I can My opponent is just doing nothing if it's just a staring contest. I think it's definitely a fight I can win. Then um we do want to apply some pressure soon, obviously, as our opponent just found Let's go ahead and get an island. Exile the Scalding Tarn. Still have Logic Knot up, which is not the worst card against a, a, an opponent who's a little bit tight on mana. Swing for two. I guess we could just play the Sacred Foundry. I don't know how we're going to get punished by that, but we might. I think I'm actually okay with a tireless tracker here. Looks like they did draw the land. Let's go ahead and kill that right now. Don't let them get another clue. Wanna bolt the spell queller? I guess I'd be okay with that. No, probably not. I, I probably just logic not that, yeah. X equals one. 
my opponent wants to resolve a blood moon next turn, they can go ahead and do that. Well, never mind. Looks like my opponent's not resolving anything. I could have swung in with Colonnade, put my opponent to 9 here, but I'm just not stable enough on what's on what's for what's on the board. So my opponent have another lightning bolt is the question. I think I'm okay with just countering this right now though. Geist is pretty good. So now I'm not too afraid of a Blood Moon, uh, Geist plus Queller plus Celestial Colonnade, and if they don't have a Blood Moon, is is pretty good. Thing is, if they do have a Blood Moon, then I'm pretty much swinging free with these two here. My opponent, oh, I guess my opponent does have a lot of mana here, don't they? Do have a lot of mana here. Sure. Can crack a clue, I guess. Brings their tireless tracker up to a four three. Lightning bolt, I think, is lethal here. If I draw it. Alright, looks like my opponent does have a lot of clues. Lands are set up here. Alright, looks like they are going for the fetch right now, possibly to play something else. Question is, do I want to fetch my last island out? I think I do. I think I'd rather just. thin my deck out a little bit. Cryptic Command. Does that win? No, it doesn't. Now, I don't, gonna, don't want to give my opponent too many draw steps here, right? Especially because they have an Arbor Elf, they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana at their disposal. I could just tap my opponent's team and swing for 8. Yeah, I think I'm going to get aggressive here. Then Dylan Click's not a bad card at all here. It means that even if they do have a ton of mana that I don't get cheesed out by something crazy. I imagine they don't have any like pyroclasm effects here. Now I can click them. And they're probably dead. Sure, they can bolt my spell queller if they want. Then they stone rain my celestial colonnade, but I still have a geist here that unless they present a flying blocker for, they can't kill. And then I also have the Vendillion click itself. Sure. Molten Rain, Tileless Tracker, Utopia Sprawl. So I don't think they have a single card that kills me here, which is why I say keep them all. Let's go ahead and take it, just in case some weird stuff happens. Our opponent's not killing us. We have lethal in the air. 
Play the Utopia Sprawl. Sure, they can generate a lot of mana. Sure. You can untap the Arbor Elf. Seems like odd sequencing. They probably should have done that pre-combat, but I'm not complaining. Now, even if they drew the Lightning Bolt, Geist gets in for the last four points of damage in the air. Ah, take that, Ponza. Take that. So Lightning Helix is not a bad card, especially if they go on the mid-range plan with, like, tireless trackers and things like that. Um, probably couldn't electrolyze just so we have cheaper interaction earlier. I think our opponent's going to sideboard a little differently, obviously. Now, that we saw they did keep Lightning Bolt, which is interesting, considering they probably should have assumed we were Jeskai Control, but I guess Lightning Bolt's not the worst against Jeskai Control. This hand is great. Well, I don't want to speak too soon. My opponent could have also a great hand. That's not it, though. Unfortunately, I cannot get a... Basic here, which is a shame, but hopefully we can draw more basics as the game goes. But then we'll go and untap with Logic Knots and hopefully hit a land for Spell Quellers and all that good stuff. Opponent is shocking, I wonder why. Utopia Sprawl. Okay. Another Arbor Elf. Interesting. Interesting. This could be a really bad spot for us. If they have a Blood Moon here. The thing is, our Logic Knot's dead right now versus a Blood Moon anyways, right? Because they could go pay three for the Blood Moon, untap that, pay two. So I think our best chance here is to just slow them down. Slow our opponent down. They had a pretty good turn two. Hopefully they don't have a good turn three. Bloodbraid Elf into something really nasty here would suck. Uh, right. They just have the Blood Moon. Thrun. Thrun. Wow, Spellcaller could have gotten Thrun. That's super frustrating. We might be able to tempo out a Thrun with Cryptic Commands, but probably not. So we'll go ahead and play this out here, see what happens. Bloodbraid Elf. Cascade Resolves. Um, we'll go ahead and Queller the Molten Rain, take seven, alright, uh, we drew, drew a land, not the end of the world, but our opponent had a lot of good ramp here, that's, Pretty rough for us. Land. Land. Molten Rain. I think I'll just encounter and tap. Obviously, no more card draw or anything like that, but I think we just have to keep on crunching here and hope that we draw, like, Snapcaster Mages into uh, Logic Knots. Uh, sorry, Snapcaster Mages into the Helixes, Snapcaster Mages into more Cryptic Commands. We could go down to four. We'll see what our opponent plays here. But we could also just um, kind of naked block the uh, Bloodbraid Elf. And I think I think that's going to be the best play here. Just naked block the Bloodbraid Elf. It does put us down to seven. 
It's not the end of the world. More lightning helixes would be ideal here. My opponent could run out of gas. That would be great. Yeah. Um, so they have two mana available. So one, two, three. That run is doing work. That path is not doing work. Uh, the question is, do we just chump block here? Because we are dead to... I guess we can just logic not the lightning bolt if they have the lightning bolt. Um, yeah, we, we kind of just need running Snapcaster Mages here to really to, to, to win this tempo fight. Stone Rain. X equals three. Yep. Wouldn't mind a Snapcaster Mage right about now. Crypto Command also works. If my opponent is smart, they'll just go to combat. Well, I guess I'm forced to counter target spell and tap all creatures your opponents control. That sucks because now I can't dig deeper into my deck. Click. What does click do? Click blocks for a turn? Put my opponent down to six. I can click block and loot away the path exile in my hand. And I think I'd rather do that reactively in case my opponent draws like a Bloodbraid Elf here or something really nasty. Planes. Relic. Relic is good. I mean, sorry, Forest, obviously not a... Let's go ahead and target myself here. We have an avenue to victory, right? And it's not going to crack the relic. Let's go ahead and exile that. Steam vents, not great. So unfortunately we cannot attack here. Interestingly enough, if we had left back the no, because because then they would be at eight, so that would not be enough either. All right, them cracking the relic is pretty good for us. I Means Snapcast Mage is a live draw if they just rip a bunch of lands off the top. Obviously, this is a very close game. Kessig Wolf Run. Ah, oh, that's so, so good here. Looks like, unfortunately, Ponza gets us here. They can give their guy a good bit of trample. They just pump for two, three. They can go all the way to three. And then the Molten Rain just comes off the Suspend anyways. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's Ponza for you. I think we, I don't know, I, I think, I think it's not such a bad matchup, but that Thrun really got us. And looks like we weren't drawing any, the kill either. Snapcast Mage was three cards away. 
But we played to our outs, and that's what's important, right? So things might not, not have happened that way. And if they didn't, then it would have been good that we played the way that we did. But obviously our opponent drew the kill. They probably had a lot of kills in the deck. They had Blood Braid, they had Bolt, they had Kessig Wolf Run, they had Inferno Titan, I'm sure. So overall, kind of a kind of a set of rough beats there, but uh, let's take it to match three. I'll see you guys soon.